and our special series, Forgotten Heroes. She served the sick and wounded in two wars, the most decorated woman in American military history. From NBC News, World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News. More news up next and later our special series, Forgotten Heroes, an army nurse who was on the front lines of two wars became the most decorated woman in U.S. military history. Tonight we continue our series, Forgotten Heroes, the stories that came out of the Forgotten War, Korea, which started 50 years ago this spring. Tonight NBC's Bob Dotson on a heroic woman who was there when it started. At 92, Ruby Bradley has outlived the few Here I am. who could tell you her story firsthand. Boy, that looks like I'm 150 years old. A half century ago, she was a frontline army nurse in Korea. The day 100,000 Chinese soldiers overran American troops and started closing in on her hospital tent. They were going to take me out first, and I didn't. I got behind something and stayed in. I was the last one out. After she had loaded the sick and the wounded onto the plane that was sent for her. We were speaking patients who'd been ambushed just five miles up the road. Everything was happening and happening fast. Communist snipers surrounded the plane. Major Bradley jumped aboard just as her ambulance exploded from an enemy shell. You can get out in a hurry when you have somebody behind you with a gun. <laughs> Ruby Bradley came home to a hero's parade. Neighbors in Spencer, West Virginia, wondering why she had volunteered to serve on the front lines, considering where she'd been before. 37 months in a Japanese prison camp during World War II, slowly starving so children could eat. I'd save my, part of my food for the children later in the day when they start crying and be hungry. Nurse Bradley shrank to 86 pounds. She used her ill-fitting uniform to smuggle surgical supplies into the POW camp. Didn't land. I was bulging here and bulging there, you know, with uh, all sorts of equipment. We smuggled in the instruments, and Ruby kept those at great risk to herself. Bradley's courage saved many lives. She assisted in 230 operations, delivered 13 babies. I knew I'd get through. I was just sure of it. Nurse Bradley didn't just get by. She became the most decorated woman in American military history. You know, a picture of these would weigh 10 pounds. <laughs> 34 medals and citations for bravery, including two bronze stars. Bradley retired from the Army in 1963, but remained a nurse all her working life. She admits this was not the life Army recruiters promised in 1933. They said, now don't worry, you won't be in any war. There isn't two of them. But Ruby Bradley fought and fought fiercely for six years, not just in one war, but two, determined to save lives while everyone around her was trying to take them. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Spencer, West Virginia. That's Nightly News for this Wednesday. I'm Tom Brokaw. I'll see you tomorrow night.